This one should be pretty easy. I'm going to draw the stingaree. I'm going to do a little bit of a tonal drawing. This is for beginners that are just learning how to shade. So I'm going to do a little bit of shading today. Okay, I'm going to start off with a smooth shape like this, almost like a, a slim bracket, which comes out a bit more of a curve there, then goes out that way. See that? Yeah, this is going to be his nose. From here to here, I'm going to do a wobbly line like this. I'm going to put the eye in. If it goes like that, and then it's funny they've got this funny like eyebrow thing which comes over them like that. And under there is the eye. Just behind the eye is a spiracle. There's like a bit of a letter U you do if you was upside down and drunk. Shade a bit in there. I'm just going to just gently shade the top parts of the eye there. I'm going to do a line going through here like this. A line here just to sort of show the tip. So it comes to a, oh, it's like a skinny letter V I guess. It's just two lines converging there. And then that bit there, like an eel or a cod or something like that. And I'm also going to put a stinger there. I could actually put a little smiley face on in here. Stingrays often look like they're smiling underneath, but most of that's going to be in shadow. So shading's the key. Shade a bit there. And the best way to shade is actually hold your pencil like this. Hold your pencil like this, you'll shade a lot faster. I'm going to shade right under him like this. Make it look like he's just off the sandy bottom of the sea. Now a bit of shade here. Bit of shade here. Not completely shade, just a bit. And in here as well, a bit of shade here. So I'm doing the side of bottom, leave the top bit white. Very, very gentle there. And I'm just look at dark as it comes here. And that's to give it that sort of funny wiggly movement. So go flat out. Sometimes for the shading you've got to hold the pencil this way just to get the sharp bits that come close. But for wide open spaces, certainly put the pencil on the side, like this. And you'll shade a lot faster. If you shade faster, it means you can do more drawings. The more drawings you do, the better you are at drawing. A happy little stingaree. Now I'll show you another little trick with shading. If we do the background a little bit, like this. Just very gentle. Now what that does is it makes his back there stand out like the light's shining on in the back. Do a few more liberties by doing shady blobs, leaving little gaps between. Sneaky way to make look, something look like it's underwater. See that? It's a sneaky underwater look. As I shade those bits in, you can sort of see little patterns in places that I haven't shaded in. And that gives it an almost swimming pool look. Do the same here. Oh, I'll better put a Few little lines on his fin there. It's going to leave a bit white at the top. And that's our stingaree. And uh, the fun part about this is the shading. You can see how important leaving bits blank is. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope you joined along. And I hope you've got a nice little drawing yourself. I'll see you next time.